Gina, thank you. We begin with new details on the tornado that touched down in Revere, Massachusetts yesterday morning. Power has been restored to just about everybody who lost it during the twister, but there's still a lot of cleanup work ahead as the EF2 tornado damaged dozens of buildings. Thankfully, no one was killed in the storm. There were a handful of injuries, though, all relatively minor, including a baby who was in a car at the time. Bullet went through the window of a car, and uh, she was uh, cut with glass. Storm also dumped as much as two inches of rain per hour, trapping several people in their cars in several communities in and around Boston. This is a video from Somerville. Back in Revere, the Red Cross has set up a shelter for those who may need it. The tornado, which touched down there, is actually the first to hit Suffolk County since officials started record keeping in 1950. Iowa News reporter Shante Lands joining us live in studio this morning with more on the cleanup efforts. Good morning, Patrick and Danielle. At this hour, again, no serious injuries, but dozens of homes and businesses have been damaged, many of those destroyed. Revere City officials plan to hold a briefing later this morning, but in the meantime, I want you to take a look at this dramatic video taken as that EF2 tornado touched down. Oh my God! Nicole DeFeo posted this to Instagram, showing the moment the twister oh tore through parts of the city yesterday morning. City officials say as homes and businesses have been damaged, including Revere City's Hall. About a dozen of those structures have been deemed uninhabitable. The tornado touched down at 9.32 a.m. near the Chelsea Revere line. Wind gusts clocked in as strong as 120 miles per hour. The twister remained on the ground for four minutes, traveling two miles through the coastal city of 50,000 residents. Meanwhile, police have since increased patrols to deter looting. And as cleanup efforts continue, Revere Mayor Daniel Rizzo urges the public to stay out of the way. Kind of asking residents to check on one another and stay out of the way of these uh, emergency crews that are out here trying to do their work. Because the more they stay off the roads and let them do their jobs, the quicker we'll be able to get back to normal. And Mayor Rizzo plans to hold a briefing with more updates from City Hall at 9 a.m. But ahead at 6.30, more eyewitness accounts of that dangerous twister. Reporting live in studio, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.